Just because food prices are up, it doesn't mean you have to avoid the grocery store. A big concern for registered dietitian Tanya Zuckerbrot, who says when strapped for cash, she sees more people starting to head for the fast food line instead of the checkout line. And good nutrition is often the first thing to go. And they have all these great deals out there for a dollar ninety nine, a burger and fries. What people don't realize is that if you go food shopping, even though it seems like you're getting a big grocery bill, you're actually buying a lot of food that can last you for a full week. For tips on keeping that grocery bill from swelling too high, we joined Zuckerbrot on a gourmet garage shopping trip. First things first, we may love a plate filled with lots of appetizing colors, but not every meal needs to be a work of art. If you're trying to save money, you don't want to overdo the colors. Typically, the more fanciful the color, the higher the price tag. For example, yellow and red peppers are typically two to three times the price of a green pepper. And when it comes to tomatoes, a regular red tomato is filled with vitamins and nutrients such as lycopene. But when you go for the heirloom varieties, which are going to, you know, have all different colored colors, greens and yellows, the price can be as much as five times as much. And if you're anything like me, you may often go for the pre-packaged stuff to try and save time. But Zuckerbrot says these cuts will often put a major cut into your wallet. The reason you want to avoid pre-cut fruits and vegetables is because you're paying for the added cost of labor for the cutting and also for the container that it's coming in. For example, a small container of cut up cantaloupe might run you $3.99. Instead, you can buy the entire cantaloupe, which is going to give you twice the amount, and that's only going to be around $3. Zuckerbrot says financial savings can also lead to nutritional and caloric savings, too. For red meat lovers, marbleized ribeye can cost you twice the price and be twice the fat of lean flank steak. The same also goes for leaner cuts of fish. Or for that protein fix, you can also plan a veggie night. Even if you're not a vegetarian, I recommend to all my patients to at least try to do one night without you know meat or fish because you can really save. For example, one can of beans is only around a dollar and that can feed easily two people. Proof that when it comes to your diet, it's not so bad to be a bean counter after all. In Manhattan, Cafe Drexel, New York One.